check this out. This video was recorded with the very camera. Uh, the, the brother that's not in there no more got me as a gift. Best gift he could have ever bought me was this. Anyway, Nikon D3300. So I'd appreciate it very much if you pay attention and view these videos like you're a scientist because it needs to be viewed by, you know, intelligence because whatever this is, we need to figure it out. You know, I wasn't going to narrate this video, but I got to looking at it and I, I decided it was too important. So I'm, what I'm saying to y'all is this is what I know. I'm videotaping uh, what appears to be what looks like faces and demons or characters or something sort. Uh, what I do know is other people are noticing it and recording videos of it. So we can't all be crazy. So they're there, whatever it is. Uh, you know, there's just so much going on in the world, man. It's like, it's, it's freaky pretty freaky and uh I, I hope you all get something out of these images because i, I feel like it, it's important i mean we're going into some times that are going to be rough i can feel it man it's like a energy i know you all feel it too i know you can feel it it's like a a, a crazy energy in your diaphragm that you've got a bad feeling about Whatever, you don't know, none of us really know, but we kind of do. Anyway, I decided so I could, I, 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 will, I decided to narrate this video because, you know, I don't know, I just see so much weirdness going on. It's like people were freaking weird I and mean, I'm losing it. I don't want to become weird. If I sound weird, tell me in the comments, you weirdo. Whatever, I don't know. I mean, I know that there's something in these things. You can see them. Clear as day. I mean, what's that thing? I don't know. It's got a body, for crying out loud. There are demons. Sure. And uh, anyway, I decided to go for a bike ride because I live with a house full of friggin' people now. I mean, a house full. A house full. So I can't make much noise. And I like to, you know, express myself. And it's very hard to do. Uh, this type of thing, riding a bike for one, and uh, you know, talking into a camera, camera while you're riding down the friggin' road. It's hard. <laughs> and uh, but I know it needs to be done. Uh, we don't do things because they're easy. We do them because they're friggin' hard. I mean, when did we lose that concept, right? Huh? I, oh, I, one more thing I got to be thinking about is. Man, I would love to see see these videos thrown on an editor or something. Somebody who knows how to edit and, you know, the contrast and sharpness and, and all that. A good, you know, editor to see what else we can bring out with. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I, I'm not good at editing. I just pro, pro, record it and post it, you know, and uh, try not to dabble. But now I'm riding in the rain and a little bit. But it feels kind of good, actually. Riding in the rain, I don't know why. It's not raining hard, it's just like sprinkling just a little bit, but it's so warm out that it feels good. You know, <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you guys see this stuff. I really want you to wake up to whatever it is. Maybe I need to wake up more even, you know, I don't know. But I know that we're all facing something that's it's gonna be devastating when it hits, man. I mean, I noticed it in the grocery store. I noticed it in other places. I mean, nobody's got any money where I live. I mean, it's like, it's like struggling. And then like, you know, I don't know, but I'm lucky. I don't have people help, helping me. I'm a friend, Doreen and Scott. They're, they're, they're a blessing from God because they've treated me with nothing but respect and, and, uh, you know, just great people, Doreen and Scott Hall, they're, they, they allowed me to make my content, move things around in their house so I could uh, uh, get the right shot or right whatever I was looking for uh, as far as like moving things around. So, 
it's starting to sprinkle. I can't believe I came out for a ride in the rain. I'm a dummy. It feels good though. I don't know why the sprinkle feels so good on me. It just feels great. Like it's like a I don't know, a little sprinkle on you while I'm riding down the road on a bicycle. Talking to you all. Hey, like and subscribe, man. I mean, I, I am really working my butt off on this stuff, man. I mean, this is hard work. I I I, I think I bit off more than I can chew, really, because. But I know what needs to be done. There's some inner force, the Holy Spirit, I call it, is driving me to record videos of the sky. I mean, of all things. But it's still there, that feeling of it's got to be done. I can't, it's like the Holy Spirit has taken over, you know, because there's days I don't want to do it. I'm not doing it, Lord. No. Uh-uh. But you know what? I get up and I go do it anyway. When it's there and I see it, the camera's coming out. And I suggest you all do the same freaking thing because we're at war. Russians with China, however you want to look at it, our country's at war. There's people that don't like us. So, what do we do? We use our friggin' brains and uh, figure out how to figure out how to see what the things running the world are. If they're human beings, even. I mean, I'm convinced. I don't know. I don't know. They just don't look real. They're not acting real. And, uh, yeah. Oh, people are starting to get very aware of the cell phone towers now. That neighborhood I was talking about where I was staying with a girlfriend and uh, I was smack dab in the middle right in the middle of these two 5G towers like they were giant hi-fi speakers only I didn't have no balance control okay them things gave me symptoms I heard voices yeah that's right in between the 5G towers uh, weird thoughts I would, good thing I'm smart enough to be like gosh darn it and I was studying and trying to understand these stupid things so it was right in that process. So God was with me one more time. Okay, I caught it. It had me, man. Like, I was staying right in the middle of these two things. That's got Arcania High School surrounded. I am disappointed with my brother. Tony, I am disappointed with you. Okay? Take your wealth and shove it up your crap or whatever. I don't care. So I, I'm disappointed because your brain's gone. Hard that you're scared. I don't know what it is. But I am disappointed with you, bud. Okay? I tried to tell you my real experience. I overdosed and died. The operating system, God, gave me a job and a task. Tony, I'm pretty sure I told you this story. But I'm not going to make this about him. I just wanted to make a point that I'm disappointed with him because he's a teacher. He should recognize these things right off the get. A Navy veteran, my brother is, and he doesn't recognize these stupid 5G towers surrounding his high school where he coaches football. And our kids, you know, my granddaughter's coming to County Young. I don't want her surrounded by these things. I mean, I don't know. I just know they're nefarious. I'm sorry. This video will probably get banned, but I don't know. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment because this message is important, I'd say. I don't know. I, I am a spiritual wackadoodle, but I ain't no wackadoodle. You understand? I got my marbles. They're all intact. As I ride by my Kanye High School that I graduated with. You know, I had a good time in this town. 
when I grew up here, this place was the bomb. There was things to do everywhere. People having fun. What happened to having fun? Well, I'll tell you what happened to them. Entities moved into our clouds. And they're not fucking aliens. Don't let anybody blow smoke up your ass. And that is a fact. That, that is Jesus' number one warning. Don't be deceived. Don't let man deceive you or anything deceive you play a trick on you that's what they're doing to us all of us i see it everywhere i mean i don't know and i'm so glad when i run into somebody that's awake and and, and understands what i'm talking about and, and they're concerned with the two man i get an overwhelming like buzz and that having that conversation with that person is like I don't know, I went to heaven and back, you know. It's just incredible to, when you bump into somebody that's totally awake, they see it, they're recording it too, and they know the science behind things, you know. But you not many people know about Honga Tonga volcano, the deep sea volcano that exploded last January. Yep, it was such a big explosion. I mean, it, it had several Hiroshima bombs in it, like several. It was big. The clouds right now are ridiculous looking. Wow! I mean, I'm going to crash looking at these stupid things right now at night. Riding down this road, talking to you. Looking like a weirdo. <laughs> it's fun though. I don't see anybody else trying. Okay? Go back to this TV! Oh, the TV told me. I knew that on the TV. Jeez. I don't know. I feel lucky, I guess. I got... I think I have reasonable, logical, smart people teaching me things. I mean, I got lucky. I don't know. They just pop in, like Douglas B. Boat, the Die Hold Foundation. Professor Matt Anderson, the electricity physics, and, uh, EM waves, and understanding frequencies, and how that all how that works, and getting uh, I got hooked on reading Nikola Tesla shit. Wow, is that fascinating when you read that stuff? Nikola Tesla was a genius. He had this stuff figured out in 1900s, in 1901. Yeah, they banished him. And, uh, ridiculed him. People stole his work. And, you know. So, yeah, in our history, how many people know? How many people know how many people died in the Holocaust? How many Jewish people died in the Holocaust? I'm going to tell you it's a large, large number. Yep. The, fir the first one that, the first one that uh, makes a comment on how many people died and is correct, um, I'm going to give you a spiritual wackadoo shirt or would you rather have a hat because I've already got a couple right? <laughs> spiritual wackadoo for you guys I'm the spiritual wackadoo you guys are spiritual wackadoos that's alright man it's a good feeling have your own God on make sure you have it and you thank Jesus and let, let, let him get to know you and you get to know him and you ask Jesus after you got your armor from God, which that's where it's from is Jesus. But when he grants you the authority to trample serpents any way you see fit. So I think that's pretty important. It's definitely worked for me, I think. I don't know. I feel lucky so far. My birthday, my big birthday was 2013. Yeah. I overdosed on heroin. Died for a few minutes. But you know what? I had to go through that to get to here. Now I'm getting poured on. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is going to be a funny one. Oh, my God. I'm booking it, too, man. I am, I am like, booking it with some shelter. Because I'm talking to you with my good phone. Then also, my, my brother that ain't in there no more. Dave, me. You know, I mean... Don't get me wrong, I love my brother. I love the guy. 
I tried to tell him about God. He knew about the lions and the lamb. Nobody really knows that much more. And he knew. But every time I talk about God, I see his eyes roll up in his head. Right? He's like, oh God, here he goes. Right? Well, that's okay. I really tried. I mean, I want, I want my family to be safe. I want all you to be safe. Whew. Hang on. I am out of breath from that little... I probably did like 40 miles yeah, an hour. Yeah, man. I wanted to show you I'm really out here riding the bike in the rain like a dummy. But, you know, I don't know. The raindrops felt good until it started pouring really hard. But I'm okay. And, you know, I really want you to pay attention. And, and I'm, not, I'm not trying to knock my brother. I mean, I love the guy. This my, yeah, I look up to him. He's my hero. But something's got a hold of my my siblings and it, it's not I don't know if it's of this world I don't know what it is but I know that my my brother's my brother's not in there man he, he doesn't behave like he like that I don't know it just doesn't do I mean he's a high strong guy but I don't know just sad you know and the Bible speaks about this stuff well yeah uh, the coming of man be and man I love you subscribe and like because it helps the algorithm get this message and let, let me tell you i'm really working hard to try to bring you the right stuff and uh please let me know if I, if you need me to ch what you want me to do how you want me to change anything go somewhere just let me know you know i'm trying to uh, uh come up with some cash just to i want to get an electric bike because i think it would be fun and it, i could go a lot of places because that's what i like to do around I, I don't drive to be honest with you i'm the, the 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 system's got my driver's license. Get this, fans and uh, uh, my my favorite uh, favorite YouTubers. Uh, check this out. I've never had a DUI. Never been caught with drugs in my car. I never had an accident, and yet my license is suspended for such crap that I mean, like they get you in a uh, 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 they get you in their trap, man. And when they're in their trap, you're, you're stuck in it, man. Okay? Like, it's it's going to cost me a few, couple, three thousand bucks to get my license back. Okay? So I told the judge, fuck you. I'll ride a bicycle. Guess what? At 56 years old, I look freaking frink, fantastic, too. And I feel great. I should thank the guy. Thanks. But, no. I mean, it's it's crooked. It's wrong. I mean, I've never had an accident, a, a, a high-speeding ticket, or... I mean, I've had a lot of tickets, but they've all been stupid ones, man. Like, that doesn't even make sense, man. Like, I mean, I don't know. Down one way street or something, or maybe catch a little bit of a red light, or I don't know. I, I know I deserve them tickets, but I don't know. They get you in this stupid trap, and then and then the, the government breaks down. It collapses at one point, and then no one has no money, and then your license really gets fucked. Because, you know, they, they either you do well for a little while, and then you don't. And, and then, I don't know. It's it's really messed up, man. We need to fix this stuff. We all need to grow up. That's why I'm so disappointed with my brother because I know he's intelligent. And all of his friends are intelligent. And uh, I just, I, I don't know. I think they're scared because I got little kids, maybe. I don't know. I got grandkids. I'm not scared, but I'm worried. I mean, we got to fix this crap. All right? It's ridiculous. It's bullshit. And... I'm at a loss for words, man. We just need to do something. We need to act. We need to act like intelligent Americans, man. Like uh, with ingenuity and uh, thinking off the cuff and uh, uh, what's the uh, improvise. And we need to improvise. Who the fuck knows how to improvise? Not too many motherfuckers know how to improvise anymore. And that pisses me off. Oh, I ain't got it. Fucking, I, I, you know, I made a fucking screwdriver out of a penny once. I don't know. It, you know, you, you improvise, man. Make it work. That's what I'm trying to do with this YouTube channel. And I'm sorry I'm yelling, but it's just frustrating, man, to, to see people you love that aren't in there no more. Who's got them? I want to know. Please. I want my family's back. I'm not a bad person. There's no reason to be bickering over the things that we're, we don't like each other over. I mean, whatever. It's ridiculous. There's just no reason for it, man. Anyway. Back to the video. Love you. Sorry about my rant. I just had to let you see me out here in the rain like a moron.
Love you.